Today is April 22nd, Pastor saying to us, Be the giver and the blesser. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Philippians chapter 2, verse 4, the Message Bible. Don't be obsessed with getting your own advantage. Forget yourselves long enough to lend a helping hand. As a child of God, be known as one who remembers, cares for, and loves people genuinely. That's what counts with God. Be the giver and the blesser. The Bible says, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Acts chapter 20 verse 35 The blessing you receive because of those who remember you is little compared to that which you receive when you remember others and give to them. When you receive from others, all you have is what you got. God's promise isn't to the one who receives, but to the one who gives. So, rather than seek attention, give it instead. Don't seek love, give love. Demonstrate love to everyone, including those who might have offended you, and the ungodly that have no hope. That's how God wants you to live. He said in Luke chapter 6, verses 27 to 31, But I say unto you which hear, Love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. And unto him that smiteth thee on the one cheek, offer also the other. And him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not to take thy coat also. Give to every man that asketh of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. And as you would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. There are people who only want to receive from others and enjoy attention from others. They only crave for others to love them. But read what the Lord said, And as you would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. You are the seed of Abraham, and the seed of Abraham reaches out in love. He hears the cry of the needy and responds, isn't that what God said concerning Abraham and his seed? He said, In you shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. You are the answer. You are the solution. Fulfill your calling as the blesser and the giver. It's a higher way of life. Hallelujah. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, I thank you for your grace upon my life to help Lift and build others. Thank you for your love that shed abroad in my heart, which I dispense lavishly to everyone in my world. I was born as the answer to the cry of millions. And through me, your blessing flows to others today. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 to 7. And Proverbs chapter 11, verses 24 to 25. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Luke chapter 19, verses 28 to 48. And 1 Samuel chapter 16 to 17. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Mark chapter 4, verses 21 to 29. And Leviticus chapter 22. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord. For saving my soul. I have eternal life now. 
I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.